Oh my gosh, you guys, I was shook. I was not expecting revision to work for me in the way that it did at all. I had heard a revision before and I always saw it as one of those manifestation practices that were kind of like out there. Okay, yeah, maybe I can change the past, but probably not. One of those techniques that was almost too good to be true, right? If you've heard a revision before, you probably know that it's a Neville Goddard manifestation technique where essentially you can script or visualize a different past so as to manifest a different past for yourself. I always had believed in being able to manifest future outcomes, but I had a lot of limiting beliefs and blocks around being able to change the past. I always thought that once something was physically manifested, you weren't able to change it, right? So I never tried revision until one day, something really devastating happened in my life. I got some news I did not want to get and I was devastated. I was on the couch, tears, just crying, devastated for probably like a week, just hopeless, did not know what to do, just would give anything to change the situation, right? And then I had to leave for a trip to go see some people. So I had to go on a plane. And when I was on the plane ride, I was thinking about this situation that was bothering me and I remembered revision and I was like wait revision what was that again oh yeah revision manifesting to change the past maybe I can change the past and I was kind of thinking to myself you know I don't think I can actually do this I don't know if I'm gonna actually be able to change the past but whatever whatever I'll just try it I have nothing to lose there's nothing else that I can do I'm just gonna try this so I found a practice that told me to just visualize what I wished would have happened instead of what had happened in my mind for 10 minutes and I was like okay this is easy enough I can just do this so I closed my eyes and I visualized I focused on what I wish would have happened instead and I just looped that in my mind and then after that I did nothing else I watched some of their videos and I basically just enjoy the rest of the plane ride and I do want to actually point out one major thing here which is that I did this on a plane I have never heard anybody say this but I have a personal belief that manifestation works better on planes because your energy is separated from the collective consciousness of humanity so when you're down on earth when you're manifesting you have your own thoughts you have your own beliefs but so does everybody else and we're all kind of in a soup of energy that's kind of like intermingling and that's what they call the collective human consciousness so when you're on a plane yes you have some other people around you so there's still collective consciousness energy around you but there's a lot less of it and you're a little bit above the main collective consciousness energy of earth so I do believe when you're on a plane that the energy is clearer and that you have a clearer channel to the universe and that you're able to send your manifestations into the universe with a lot more power because the energy is clearer there's more space and there's less competing thoughts and emotions so I do want to point this out that I did this on a plane because I think that could be a main variable on why this works so well so after this I had my trip I I saw my people, I went back home, and I never thought about the revision again, not even once. Totally forgot about the manifestation, totally forgot about the revision, because my belief on this whole thing was whatever, it's probably not gonna work, I tried it, maybe it'll work, probably not, I'm moving on with my life. And I did, I moved on with my life. And then, about two months later, the weirdest thing happened. A friend came to me nonchalantly out of the blue and was like, oh, did you hear about so-and-so? This situation, did you know it actually didn't happen like that? It happened like this. So what they said before wasn't the actual truth of what happened. And I was like, what? What they had said before wasn't the actual truth of what actually happened? The thing that I was trying to change? I was just, I was shook. I was like, oh my God, like definitely living in a simulation here. Oh my God, the revision worked. It worked. It changed. The situation that I was trying to revise had changed. There was a time lag. It took probably about two months, but it worked. The revision worked. And I think I had success because A, I didn't have any attachment to the outcome, right? So I went into this with zero expectations. I was trying it out of curiosity. I really didn't have any attachment to it working. I kind of thought I was just doing something that might work, but might not work. No attachment to the outcome. So no excess potential. Number two, I think doing it on a plane helped. I do think that manifestation works a lot better on a plane. I have manifested other things during plane rides and they always seem to come in very clearly. So I do think manifesting it on a plane, doing the process on a plane helped a lot. And then number three, letting go. After I did the revision, I did not think about it again at all. Not even once after I did it. I literally moved on with my life and was like, whatever. I didn't think about it at all. So those are the reasons why I think it worked. I just want to come on here and tell you guys that revision works. It's creepy and it works. And it was very easy. So it wasn't very hard. It was not very time consuming. I did it 
one time. So definitely post in the comments below if you've tried revision before. I definitely want to hear your stories and I want to hear if anybody else has had success with revision. Also, if you guys have any questions on anything, if you want to know more about what I did, you can ask those questions in the comments too. And then of course, if you found this content helpful, be sure to click that like button below and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.